be negative. No, I'm on a very serious note. The way we're telling you people, come. Somebody is going out there to eat boiling with the people. No, I'm not saying we must just go situate, must situate what we are talking about locally. And you have somebody who says, I, I believe in stomach infrastructure, stealing all the money, but giving people just some tokenism. And it's been celebrated. So we must look at our own environment. On America, very briefly, please, let us be honest. The only candidate in that election that was challenging the status quo was Senator Ben Sander. He was the one challenging capitalism. And the youth embraced him because he made it clear this richest country on earth cannot afford to have poor people. No child in America should drop out of school because of poverty. We are going to allow, we are going to implement free education policy in America. Everybody will go to the hospital without paying through his or her nose. And the youth that everybody embrace him. For what we have just been told now by the lady who was an interim chair. The whole thing was rigged. So if the primary was, the election must be rigged. And then the other hypocrisy. That one will fall. Oh, eh, well, we are watching the eh, CNN. Oh, they are exposing in Russia. Why should Russia not interfere in the American election? You destroy communism. America funded the destruction of Soviet Union. So why should Soviet Union be neutral? Why should Soviet Union not spend money so that a fool who might as the president of America? Please, let's not get engaged. Let's not be involved in the hypocrisy of the West. Please, let's come home. Now, you know, if we are here tomorrow, we will be pontificating. But I, I think it was Kamas that made it. But philosophy have been the war. Our duty is to change it. 2019 is around the corner. My friend is talking of uh, uh, they are distributing. What is my business? If everybody in my village can play for Nigeria and we win a cup, we all celebrate. Who cares where you come from? When we are winning cups and we go to the street to welcome the eagle. Is this super equals now? What do you call it? You know? Or this is super. But the point I'm trying to make, let's not descend to the level of the ruling class. So, Southeast is marginalized. Who is marginalized? All the roads in the Southeast, just like the roads in the Southwest. Why give it to Ibos? One road in the Southwest, the most Terrible road when I'm going home. On this Lagos, I mean, from Lagos to Ekiti. Was given to a prominent traditional ruler in the West. And he carried it, took the money away, and the road is bad. People are dying. Go to the east, east, roads in the east. They have all collapsed. People are dying. We are not complaining about that. What do we say? The elites are. Yes, you should be disturbed. Where are the intellectuals in their universities? Your generation is gone. We don't have Yahoo Yahoo professors. I'm serious. People are made professors now because of where they come from. It's not about your contribution to intellectual enterprise. We want to have a university in our village. So now, a vice chancellor must come from. You are not aware. Vice Chancellors are elected on the basis of ethnicity. We are no longer talking of the days of Papua the days of Adia and Jaya and others. When we are looking for the best, those who are who are national merit award winners. Now, it is a question of race to become a Vice Chancellor now, sir. You do everything. Oh, everything. Oh, yes. So please, let us be very serious and 
uh, please, my very good friend, on restructure, please again, let us be very careful. When Afeni Ferry, Mohamese, and all these people are talking about restructuring, this is restructuring for the elite, not restructuring for the people of Nigeria. There is no state in Nigeria today where local governments have not been cornered. All the funds of local government have been cornered by state governments. As far as we are concerned, that's not part of restructuring. In this part of the world, Southwest that is leading the campaign. When you are talking of Fulani, which Fulani? The Southwest that is leading that campaign. Many of our people are wearing our old caps and not thinking like a war at all. In this part of the world, sir, I want went to Argentina to bring a type of a specimen, a type of cow. That type of cow is already extinct now. I'm sure those of us who were growing up in the 60s know the time what I'm talking about. Fatter, uh, small horns, you know. That you can't find them again. That is why we now have to go to the north. That people now have to bring cows. Very primitive, your president. A cattle era. But he never had a value. Anytime our president, anytime he concluded a campaign as a candidate, he will go back to his cows. Thanking them like they were doing 500 years ago. But Botswana here, an African country, please let's not go to Europe or America. Botswana has a population of 1.6 million people. The population of cows there, 2.8 million. What have they done? The largest exporter of meat in Africa, the largest producer of meat. They have fried cheese and abattoirs. Here, Somebody to bring a cow from Sokoto to Lagos. They must graze, they must feed. The man must, if he hasn't seen his wife for two or three months, he must rape on the way. Oh, yes, naturally. So, but instead of saying, let us have fried cheese, let us have a batuos. Now, there are 21 branches of uh, this shopping mall now, the one from South Africa. Chaprite. All the meat that we buy elite in that in those shops, all the meat is produced in the Kenya here, the hometown of the vice president. And I've challenged the vice president. If shop right can do that, why can the government of Nigeria not do that? But we all know the Fulanis are killing our people. Is it so? Is it rocket science to produce meat? So please, I beg you. 2019 is out. And a government that has not done anything is winning election everywhere. You know what I mean? And yes, it's either Buhari now or Atiku. We're in trouble. So please, let us take advantage of the internet to start raising serious issues about our future. The black man is in trouble. We're talking of... Uh, oh, the white people, and they are talking of um, Trump. Let them have many Trumps. But there are certain things that are already granted in America. They are already different. Here, yeah. oh, it is, uh, I'm defending somebody now. Many lawyers have asked me, yes, why are you defending uh, a religious fundamentalist? I say, ah, most Nigerians are fundamentalists now. We have more pastors in Nigeria than any country in the world. In fact, the latest uh, Forbes uh, magazine now, the 20 richest pastors in the world, about 9 or 10 are from Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Yet, our people are getting poorer. Prof, or the prof, sir. Sir? Poorer yes, sir. <laughs> the prof, sir, many of us, sir, have not attended mission schools. Mission schools built by Catholics and the Anglicans. Schools. Hospitals. But what are we building now? What are our churches giving us? They say they are promising to build churches in every street. And all the warehouses in Apapa and Ikeja, warehouses built by our own factories, they have all become churches and business centers. Thank you very much. <laughs>